Hello guys, my name is Johnny Smith and I'm from the Society of Musculoskeletal Medicine. I've got a really interesting case study to share with you today, which will help with your differential diagnosis of dorsal sided wrist pain. Warren's come to see me, complaining of a one week history of pain over the dorsal aspect of his lower forearm. He feels this may be related to doing increased work in the gym, but also he's quite a keen rower and he's been doing more of this activity lately. His symptoms have actually flared up though, and he feels that just general wrist movements and gripping um, have caused some pain recently. So what do you think could be the differential diagnosis of this problem? Well, let's have a look and do some key objective tests to confirm what I think could be going on. So first of all, let me just have a little feel around this area. Now it feels slightly warm, indicating some inflammation. And interestingly, if I just roll my fingers over this area, I can feel slight crepitus there. Objectively, we'll do a few tests, Warren, if that's okay. Yep. So first of all, we'll do passive wrist flexion. And that's sore, and you can actually, again, almost feel slight crepitus through the movement. We'll now do resisted wrist extension. So don't let me push your wrist down. Any problems? Slightly painful. Slightly painful. It's worthwhile now looking at the thumb. So we'll do resisted thumb extension. So don't let me push your thumb down. Okay. And relax. Don't let me push your thumb in. And relax. Any problems? Yeah, just painful around there. Okay. So those resisted tests at the wrist and thumb have caused pain here. It's useful now to do one additional test called Finkelstein's test. So if you just flex your thumb and take hold of it with the fingers, and I'll place your wrist in on the deviation. Is that any problem with that? Just around here again. And again, you can feel that slight crepitus when you do that. But what's interesting there is that Warren has pointed to the pain quite high up, because we often do Finkelstein's test as a test for de Quervain's tenosynovitis, but you would get the pain around the radial styloid with that. We've got the pain more proximal. Well, I think the diagnosis there is a condition called intersection syndrome, which is sometimes referred to as Orsman's wrist. It's a problem where the muscle tendon junctions of the tendons in the first extensor compartment of the wrist travel over the tendons of the second extensor compartment in the wrist. The tendons of the first extensor compartment comprise of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis, and they cross over the tendons of extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. The intersection point is typically around about four centimeters proximal to the wrist joint line, which is exactly where Warren has his pain. 